Hi, welcome to High Road. My name's Andrew, and in this video, we're going to find out if you can put light gauge electric strings on a classical guitar. I mean, of course you can, but if you want to know what that sounds like, keep watching. Last year I published a video talking about why you should never ever put steel strings on a classical guitar. And that's because steel strings have a string tension of around 77 kilograms, whereas classical guitars are designed for standard classical strings which have around 37 kilograms of tension. If you put steel strings on this, you're going to destroy the guitar. But in that video I suggested a possible solution. If the only guitar you have is a classical nylon guitar, and you want to approximate a steel string sound, you can put light gauge electric strings on one of these because classical strings and light gauge electric strings both have around about the same amount of string tension. Now in the comments section of that video, a lot of people were asking me to demonstrate what it sounds like when you put electric strings on a classical guitar. So that's what this video is. Also, I just want to be clear on who this video is aimed at. This video is not aimed at professional players who have a huge collection of guitars to choose from. This video is aimed at people who maybe only have one guitar, a nylon guitar, and they can't afford a steel string yet, or they don't have one available to them, but they want to be able to approximate a steel string sound. If that's you, that's who this video is for. What we're going to do now is some listing comparison tests. You're going to hear me play the same musical examples on three different sets of strings. First of all, I'm going to play my nylon classical guitar with nylon strings, just as God intended. Then you're going to hear me play the same musical examples on the same guitar, but with light gauge electric strings. That's the experiment. Thirdly, I'm going to play the same example on my steel string guitar with steel strings so that you know what a steel string sound should actually sound like. Just in case you're wondering, this was actually my first guitar. It was my beginner instrument. I think my dad bought this guitar in the 70s for about $30 or $40. It's probably comparable to something like a Yamaha C40, which um, you, these days you'd buy them for about $150, $200. I was also lucky enough to get my hero Tommy Emmanuel to sign this guitar when I met him backstage in 1998. This guitar is a Maton TE1. It costs about two and a half grand and it's about as good as a steel string guitar can get. Let's have a listen.
you enjoyed that little experiment. As you can hear, putting light gauge electric strings on a classical guitar doesn't sound exactly the same as a steel string guitar, but it's closer than you'd think. So if you want to approximate a steel string guitar sound and the only guitar you have available to you is a nylon guitar, you've got nothing to lose by trying light gauge electric strings. Now before we finish, let's talk about some pros and cons. The first pro here is I noticed that when I put electric strings on my nylon guitar, it actually sounded a little bit louder than my steel string guitar, which seems crazy to me because the steel string has such a big body and they're such heavy strings, you'd think surely that would be louder. But actually this one was definitely louder when I looked at it in Pro Tools, it definitely had a, a larger waveform. And I guess I put that down to the classical guitar having lighter bracing on the top, which means that it can resonate a bit more. And this has been designed purely for acoustic sound, not for plugged in sound. So that was just an interesting little thing I noticed. There were maybe two downsides to this experiment as well though. I found that the electric strings didn't intonate that well on the classical guitar. I found that all my fretted notes in the first sort of three or four frets were a little bit sharp. So you may have noticed that when I was playing open chords, they sounded a little bit out of tune because my fretted notes were a little bit sharp compared to the open strings. When I switched to bar chords, however, and everything is fretted, all the notes seem to go sharp by about the same amount and that sounded in tune. So the only way around this would be maybe some clever tuning variations where you sort of put some strings a little bit sharper or flatter than others to compensate, or you could maybe go to the extent of having a luthier set your classical guitar up specifically for electric strings. You may have trouble finding a luthier who is willing to do that though, because um, a lot of them are very stuck in their ways and they feel that that would be the wrong thing to do to a classical guitar, so you may have your work cut out for you there. The other downside I suppose is that even if you can approximate the sound of a steel string guitar, you can't approximate the feel. Because light gauge electric strings, they feel much thinner, they feel much looser, the tension is much less, and so you can't dig in and play the same way that you would on a standard steel string guitar. Also the neck dimensions are different, the neck is much wider, the string spacing at the bridge is much wider, the neck profile's much bigger, um, you don't have as much access to high frets, so the whole experience of playing the guitar is very different. However, you know, that's just up to the player to sort of negotiate. This whole experiment is really just a compromise, so that's a fairly minor point. Well, that pretty much wraps things up. As always, if you'd like to learn more about making music, recording music, and building musical stuff, start now by subscribing below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.